guys. I am stitching out on toilet paper. <laughs> yes, I've seen several YouTube people um, stitching on embroidery, embroidery on their toilet paper. And I thought I wanted to give it a try. And um, so far right now, it's looking pretty good. Um, this is just a real thin toilet paper. And I want to get the thicker kind. But this is just for a demonstration because I kind of wanted to see how it would look. And... So far... It is looking pretty good so far. Um, I've stitched out the purple hat there. If you can see, um, I'm doing this right here, this little Halloween, and it's fixing to stitch all the orange. So, um, I kind of wanted uh, you to see what it looked like so far. I've got a 7511 needle in my embroidery machine and that's what I like to use and it says to use that when you're stitching on paper so um because it makes little bitty holes and not big ones but I use this anyways I like it and I prefer it better but here I go I'm going to stitch out the orange And um, I watched several tutorials um, hang on a minute I got to find my little bitty here it is I forgot to put my cap on my thread okay um I've got cutaway stabilizer. Um, that's what it says to use. And I guess the reason why they want you to use a 7511 is that way because if you use another needle like a 9014, your your I guess your um, paper, your whatever, will tear. And, yeah, that will. So, um, and I just pinned it with pins. And so far, so good right now. It's really stitching out okay. Um, I will buy me a whole bunch of these rolls and stitch them up and then I think you put tissue on top of it and wrap it in sulfine which I think um, would be cute for Halloween decorate your bathroom for Halloween um, I'm going to stop this machine and I'm going to turn that thread It looks like it's going to rain outside. There we go. That might give it more light. It looks pretty cloudy outside. I think that looks better there. That gives it a lot more light. <laughs> And I've always had my little, I have a little stand here, and 
I'm so dingy that I just now found out that I put it right in front of the supporter machine so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And, ha. That way you can watch what I'm doing instead of going, okay, well, what is she making? Let me see the project. Now I know. I got it together here. I'm going to stop it. And I'm going to trim my threads here very carefully. Not to tear the toilet paper. And I think it's turning out okay. So far, so good right now. I am, I'm going to get me an iPad. It seemed like um, that does a lot more. And I'm going to get me a tripod, and that way you really can see what I'm doing. I think this is turning out. And we are done. So, I'm going to take it out of my hoop. I'm going to push my machine back. And there it is. Look at that. Now, that turned out good. So I'm um, I'm clipping out my Okay, now I'm going to take my pins out. And then you take this off the hoop very carefully. And then you want to carefully You want to carefully not cut your or you don't have to cut it um I did and then I think when you let me get it fixed here
Let me get it rolled up here. And there it is. Look at that. What do you think, guys? I think that turned out good. So, um, I'm going to be buying me some more. I'll probably buy me a whole pack. And, and bordering on them. And, um... I got a couple of designs on here that I can do on the toilet paper roll. But I think this looks out good looks good. So uh please leave subscribe to my channel, leave any comments and let me know what you think about this. I thought it turned out good. So let me know what you think and um leave a comment below and give a thumbs up. Alright, see you on the next video. Bye-bye.